Hello everybody and welcome to another Tech Minute video. My name is Tom from Six Foot Networks. Thank you for joining me today in my office. So, I believe it was a week ago, maybe two, the days are kind of blurred right now. Um, two weeks ago, I think I announced that I was uh, finally going back to hitting the books and uh, training up on uh, Cisco hardware and uh, the command line and all of that stuff going from my CCNP and then my CCIE. Uh, specifically for the routing and switching part. Now I know Cisco changed their testing format a little bit this year in 2021, so I'm not sure what all the tests are called at this point. They, they elude me. But I wanted to quickly point out what I have in terms of lab gear that I'll be using to uh, essentially train and learn. And I had a I had a question about uh, my my progress and stuff like that, what I've already done, uh, and I thought I'd kind of share that with you guys here. So the first piece of equipment is this uh, Catalyst 3750 that's sitting right here. It is a multi-layer switch. In other words, it can do switching as well as routing for layer three. Uh, it's currently not routing. This guy is just a switch and it's got this laptop over here attached to it. This is part of uh, just, a, it was part of a stack and uh, if you're not sure what a stack is, on the back of these uh, switches there are ports that you can literally run uh, special cables between that allow you to stack uh, multiple switches together and that essentially creates one giant switch. So the network sees it as one giant switch with many, many ports or you can use it like this in this configuration. So uh, I broke the stack and I reset it back to singular switch and there it is, it's actually working really well. Um, nothing's really configured on it because the intention is to actually use that to break into uh, the CCNP training. I have another one, it's twin, I bought two of those. It's over there on my desk, it's actually underneath that laptop where right next to the lava lamp and so both of those are going to be for specifically for the training i bought newer catalyst switches same model gigabit 24 ports that have uh, sfp connectors on the side so if you're looking at this guy here um, right here you would have uplink ports that you could plug in um, optical cabling which i have plenty of right there single mode uh, there is 3 meter, 10 meter, and I think there is even 150 meter over there. So I'll be able to wire this place up with optical cabling. And, you know, I guess that begs the question, why am I doing all of this? Well, for me, it's learning because I try to uh, practice what I preach. So I don't just go in as a network engineer and, you know, go into a client and say, they, you need all this and you know either pull stuff out of my butt or whatever i try to actually do it legitimately like because i know it because i've had hands-on experience with it and whatnot and at least this will give me the opportunity to learn more about uh trunking maybe uh um, ether channels you know the ability to create uh grouped interfaces between ports or even chassis i'm not sure if i'm gonna do multi-chassis link aggregation. I, I don't think I have the scale for that here, but those switches are a great buy. I think I got both of them for $80. It was an eBay uh, buy it now thing that I saw, you know, a few years back and these will remain. I will pull them from my production because right now they're in my production network here, you know, driving all my, all of the stuff over there on that desk is driven by that catalyst, which then has a trunk that runs along the, the floor here behind me, uh, behind this workstation to the rack. And then this one has this purple trunk that's going to the rack as well. And speaking of the rack, there is, uh, I'm gonna take my light with me because I think it's a little dark over here. I'll set this down here. So, this guy here is my uh, trusty 3800 series 
integrated services router that uh, actually is in production. It is working, it is doing very well. It is very old, it is way long end of life, but it, it's solid. You know, these devices are built really well. And again, this was an eBay buy. Uh, this one was probably about $140, uh, it was a little bit more. And I ended up getting a, a quieter fan kit for it because the fans that were in it were, I guess you can call them blenders because that's what it sounded like. But yeah, um, this is this is the uh, the big boy. Um, and actually, at some point, I'm going to replace this RV260. I've had this for a few years, and I am outgrowing it in terms of form and function. Uh, you can see that most of the lights are on, and there's actually a 48 port catalyst that will be installed right here. It's actually being FedExed to me from a data center in North Carolina. It was decommissioned last week and it was put in a box and shipped here uh, for us to enjoy. So that will be my new core uh, multi-layer switch. It's 48 ports, so I'll be able to ha I'll have a place to put the pies, the storage, the security stuff, even some more Macs. I already brought them over here. I'm gonna get some shelves that I can put stuff into. And as a bonus tip, if you're doing any form of labbing, make sure that you have a decent UPS because you never know when your configuration can take a hit, power outage, brown out, whatever. If you live in an area that's susceptible to it, these are relatively cheap. That guy right there, brand new, $140. This was an Amazon buy, it just arrived today. It still has the uh, LCD <laughs> plastic on it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, more stuff to come on the Cisco progress and the training and uh, maybe I'll do some configuration videos if you're interested um, do some you know initial configuration videos on how to set up a switch um, out of the box switches work um, you just power them on assuming they were factory reset if you have a factory reset switch it should come on and you should be able to use it in its default configuration However, if you buy a router and you power it on, by default, all of its routed interfaces will be shut down. So you will have to go into the config and at least issue a no shutdown command on the interfaces that you want to use. Anyway, I'll leave this there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like this video and wanna see more of it, please consider subscribing to the channel as it really helps us make more content like this for you. In the meantime, take care, good luck, and thank you for watching.